Hey guys, this is Fuller. We're back for even more new legendaries, this time all around the free form mana cost range. Mostly we're talking niche tech type cards, so think similar to Baron Rivendell, Old Murkai, and even Tink Master, etc. Most of these will be fully playable in the mod. I got so many suggestions this time, so I've picked the best. I hope you enjoy. Alright, here we go. The first one is straight into my favourite, it's hugely inspired by a Yu-Gi-Oh card, you may recognise it. Here it is, Monkey King. For free mana, he's free free, with whenever your hero takes fatal damage, whilst this is in your hand, prevent it and discard this card. What that means is it blocks one instance of fatal damage, but only one, so it's a partial ice block you can surprise your opponent straight out of your hand, so it doesn't make you fully immune for the turn, so i.e. if he has say 7 minions down you're probably still gonna die, but one big finisher like a pyroblast or an enraged gromash it can stop. His stats are average so you can just play him as a free free for free, semi like a big game hunter or mind control tech if you don't think this is his ability it will be useful during the game. What do you think? Would you run this card? I'd probably put him in my Paladin deck. Next we got an anti-dragon card. This one got sent in. It's Ragnarok Blood Reaver. For 4 mana he's 5-4. With battle cry gain control of an enemy dragon until end of turn. So like a shadow madness, very strong but very pacific. The dragon gets charged so you can trade his dragon into one of his other minions potentially. Most dragons have a powerful board effect as well, so Malagos, you can get his spell damage plus 5 for a turn, or Ysira get a dream card at the end. Killing your opponent with his own Deathwing would be a really nice twist. On to a deadly beast. I saw this on Half Guards and I tweaked it a little bit. It is Needlefang. For 4 mana it's 1-7 with whenever this minion damages the enemy hero, add a poison counter to the enemy hero. What do poison counters do? Well there was two possibilities I was thinking. One if he gets 5 counters he dies instantly, inspired by the magic version of poison counters. Or two, a much more simple version, at the start of a player's turn, if they have any poison counters they take one damage per poison counter. So a really unique effect for an alternative win condition or just a permanent damage source. Which do you prefer? This one's inspired by a Nax boss, it is Hegan the Unclean. For 4 mana he's 3-5 with at the start of your turn, deal 2 damage to the leftmost enemy minion. It takes a full turn to take effect, so plenty of time for your opponent to react, but he has close to vanilla stats, just one under Yeti. Could see this rushed in a zoo type deck for steady ball control, lockdown and continuous pressure. This one has a lot of potential, it is Vandar Storm Spike. For 3 mana he's 4-2 with your minions battle cries trigger twice. So Novice Engineer now draws 2 cards, as does Azodrake. Fire Elemental does 6 damage, but some battle cries wouldn't gain anything like Alex Straza, Cabal Shadows Priest, as they're pacific to one thing. You could build a deck around this guy, it'd be interesting to see a pure battle cry minion deck. On to a possible rogue legendary, else neutral too, is Mafius Shaw. For free mana, he's 4 free with. The top cards of both players' decks are visible, so you can both see each other's top cards of your decks. You both know what you're gonna draw. There are some cool interactions like Call cool Pet and Gnomish Experimenter. You can plan your moves with this information. Next, we got an anti pirate, well, sort of, it is Dalin Proudmore. For 4 mana he's 3 6 with charge and battle cry add a random pirate to your opponent's hand. Very similar to doom card, good stats for a charge minion but with a downside. An alternative could be better stats but summon a pirate for your enemy but that's a bit close to Leroy. He's got very high health so you can probably assassinate a minion and still survive or use him as some form of finisher. Next, this was inspired by a Blackrock boss. Can you guess which one? It is Meklo. For 4 mana, he's 3 4 with Battle Cry. Add 3 Poison Flask to your opponent's hand. What do Flask do? They cost 1 mana, they don't do anything, but if you're holding them at the end of your turn, you take 1 damage per Flask. Your opponent can choose to spend 3 mana to get rid of them, but that's a huge tempo loss. 
or he can ignore them, play as normal, but suffer the free damage at the end of his turn. Obviously there's potential in mill type decks where you can play this minion multiple times to flood your opponent's hand. On to the bonus legendary, it's actually a set of two, I couldn't find any really decent art for this, that's why they're bonus ones. The twin emperors Vecnilash and Veclor, you might recognise the characters from well. They're both free mana, they free four or four free stats. What they do is battle cry draw the other legendary. So better stats than Gnomish Inventor for example which draws a normal card. If you already have both in your hand when you play one they do nothing. That's the risk you take. In a zoo type deck to keep the minions flowing to your hand they could be run. What do you think? They have no special abilities outside drawing each other. Alright that's it for these legendaries. As always I need your feedback. Which one of these legendaries do you want in the mod? Next up we're going to be doing 5 and 6 mana cost legendaries. I was originally going to do them all together, but as I said I got so many ideas sent in, so I'm going to post them tomorrow instead. Your last chance now to send in some more ideas. Remember 5 to 6 mana range is usually the really powerful, efficient ones like Lotheb, Sylvanas and the new Emperor Farazan. Can you outdo them? More mod updates coming soon, please like, subscribe and thanks guys, I'll see you all next time.